Hello and welcome to the 19th episode of Behind the Railway Series, where we take a look at the stories of the Railway Series and locate the real-life counterparts in history. Next up is the series' 19th book, Mountain Engines, first published in 1964. The book starts out at the Scarlowy Railway, where Sir Handel is complaining about his trains. In Mountain Engine, the Scarlowy Railway engines meet Kuldi, an odd-looking engine with a slanted boiler who works on a mountain railway in the heart of Sodor. Kuldi tells the engines what it's like working on a mountain railway. When Duncan comes in with his usual bad mood and bad lookout, Kuldi tells the story of his friend Godred, who was too sure of his automatic brakes, so much so that he fell down the mountainside. When Kuldi returns home in danger points, he discovers three new engines working on the railway. One of the three, Lord Harry, is so set on paying out the others that he derails on the line and gets his name taken away. In the final story, Devil's Back, the former Lord Harry rescues climbers stuck on the mountain during a strong wind, eventually being renamed Patrick after one of the rescued climbers. By the 1960s, the Reverend Audrey was one of the foremost children's authors in Britain. His fame did not go unnoticed by the Church of England, who offered him a section in its special newspaper. The Reverend decided to contribute articles about locomotives that made history, model railways, and remarkable railways, where he covered some of the most novel railway lines in the United Kingdom. One of the railways covered was the Snowdon Mountain Railway, which the Reverend and his friend Teddy Boston visited in March of 1963. The Snowdon Mountain Railway director suggested that a similar railway be added to the island of Sodor. The Reverend created the Coldy Fell Mountain Railway for Sodor, located on the tallest mountain on Sodor. And the Coldy Fell engines were all based on the Snowdon engines. Coldy is based off number four Snowdon, Godred off number one Ladas, Ernest off number two Enid, Wilfred off number three Withva, Lord Harry off number six Sir Harmood, later renamed Paydarn, Alaric, off number 7, Ralph, and Eric, off number 8, Eriri. The stories, much like those of the four little engines, were based off the real-life history of the Snowden Mountain Railway. The mountain engine discusses automatic brakes on locomotives, which the real Snowden engines did have. Should the train exceed 5 miles per hour on the downward run, the automatic brake would kick in and slow down the train. Godred's accident in Bad Lookout was based off an accident that happened to Ladas in 1896. Several passengers were injured in the accident and the railway had to close for a full year to mend the line. The last two stories, Danger Points and Devil's Back, were based off events surrounding Snowden's number 6. Number 6 did derail on the summit, but the engine's name change from Sir Harmood to Paydarn wasn't due to malbehavior, but rather to pay homage to one of the nearby lakes. Additionally, Paydarn became a hero like Patrick by saving stranded climbers near Clogwin. On its release, Mountain Engines helped to further flesh out the island of Sodor's railway infrastructure and helped garner more tourism to the Snowden Mountain Railway, which still operates to this day. If you thought that Peter and Gunver Edwards' illustrations were breathtaking, wait until you see the Mount Snowden on a clear summer's day. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, feel free to like, subscribe, and share. And also leave a comment below. Till next time, I'm Captain Rutledge. Good day.